In this video, we're going to look at how the feeds and speeds are set up in Bobcam. Come to our cam part, or our top level on our cam tree, right click milling tools, and then go to our default cutting conditions. Now, there's individual settings for both the part and the default setting. So if you need to make changes to the overall system, default will change or affect files that you make in the future, but not the current file that you're working with. And the part settings will affect the current file that you're working with. You will want to set up your cutting conditions when you first install the software, at least for one material. The cutting conditions contain the list of materials. These materials are a user-defined list. So you could see here, I've set this one up as wood. Let's say we click on one of the items below it. We can rename the material. Let's say that this is going to be for plastic. So any material name that you want to give it. In here, we set up then the associated feed rates for each tool. The feed rates are set up for small tools and for large tools. And this is what causes the chip load to be able to be calculated by Bobcam. So you need to set up your surface feed for all of your different tools for both holes and milling operations. And the parameters that are associated with the material file have to do with how the drilling works and how the reaming works. For example, extra amounts for through holes, for the automatic tapping function or for the automatic calculation of how deep to tap is based off of a percentage of the diameter of the tool. Now, all of these items in here are documented in the help system. So if we come to help, Bobcam help, and launch the Bobcam help, we can go to our index, search for the cutting conditions. And this gives us a description of all the items to be set up or what the options are to be changed in the cutting conditions for the materials. You'll probably want to print this list out when first setting up the material files and you will want to set up the material files prior to doing any drilling operations or sending a program to the machine so that you could be sure to, of what to expect the g-code to output on how the can cycles will operate as well as how your feeds and speeds will be calculated. Now everything that is automated in the material file can also be handled at the toolpath level. Everything that's automated has an override button at the toolpath level. I'm going to right click milling stock, go to drill, and the software is going to warn me that I haven't defined an origin for the part. That's okay. We'll go ahead and continue. We'll choose no. Choose hole. Go to next. Next again, we're not going to select any geometries. We just want to look at some of the settings in here. So we could see for our operations, if we come to our center drill, we can either use the system feeds and speeds, or if we uncheck this box, we can manually enter them. So the surface feed settings, your dwell settings, the feed rates, the RPMs, the things that are set up in the material file can be overrided at an individual toolpath level. Although, if you set up a material file, it, it will work for your needs, or at least get you close to where you need. The items can be overridden because at certain times in a job, you may have something that's unique to the job. And you could also set up whether or not if the toolpath will be pecking. We can override our center drill depths, which this is also set up in the material file. So there's a lot of items in that material file that will automate the system for you. So again, what you want to do is come to the help system, go to Bobcat help, come to your index and search for the cutting conditions. Print this out so that you have a reference. Then come to your milling tools, right click, go to your default, cutting conditions, 
and set up at least a default material to start with so that the settings will come close to what you need. You can come closer and tie these down as, you're, as you've been working with the system and you get a good idea of what each item does and how the software outputs your code. Now, the automated feeds and speeds are set up only for the mill, not for the lathe. For lathe, the feeds and speeds are set up only at a toolpath level. And mill, underneath milling stock, is where you can select from that list of materials that you have set up or defined. And this will just help you set up the feeds and speeds and some of the drilling operations. That concludes this video.